In this video, we will understand Clo workspace as well as some of the function and what Clo have to offer. Right now, I'm here in this 3D window on my left and to the right is a 2D window. With this window, it came with toolbar. So many tools in this toolbar work for the 2D window and many tools here in this 3D toolbar work for 3D windows. And over here to my left is the library. And the library, we have Garmin, Avatar, Hanger, Fabric, and so on. If we want to open that folder, simply double click on it to open. Then, if we look down here under this asset tab, we will see female, kid, male avatar. And to open that folder, simply double click on it. And in that folder, it's contained many subfolder as well as avatar. And if we want to load the avatar into the workspace, we simply either right click and then select add to workspace or we can simply double click on it to load her to the workspace. One more important thing here, the fabric folder. If I double click on that fabric folder right there and I want to look for a specific fabric in that folder, I can simply come over here to the search bar and then type in, for example, knit and press on return into the keyboard. And if I look down here, we have many knit fabrics appear. And to the right here, we can change the view from icon to list, from list to icon, simply click on that. And if I hover the mouse over here, I can click and then expand the window or contract. Another useful thing here, we have this icon here. For example, right here, if we have any item that we need to download, this icon appears to be blue. And this plus sign here allows us to add a folder to the library for easy access. For example, if I click on that plus sign right there, and then navigate to my folder, then I'm going to click my folder here, course material, and then I will click on open here. And as you can see right here, now this folder is in the library tab. If I want to open that folder, simply double click to open. Now I see all the items that contain in that folder. Next, the history tab. The history tab is, is useful for a pattern maker. If I click on that history tab right there, I can snapshot any work that I have done right here. Or right there, we also have history, that project that we work on. For example, I just open file or any other work history that we have done in the past. Or I can simply click on that add 3D state icon there to have a snapshot of that work that I'm doing. In this case, that is the work that I have done, which is load the avatar. I can simply right click and then rename it to let's say avatar and then press return enter on the keyboard. And I can simply add the avatar into the workspace if I want to. First, let me delete this avatar first. Simply click on that. By the way, guys, if, the, if you delete this avatar, only the avatar in the workspace that have deleted, okay? So click on that, press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. Then I'm going to come over here and click on the avatar right there, right click, and I can select add it to workspace. Okay, now I have the avatar loaded onto the workspace. Then to close the history tab, simply click on the arrow there to close the history tab. Next, over here to my right, we have objects browser, where it's contained fabrics, button, buttonhole, and top stitches, and so on. And underneath that is the fabric, where we can click on that fabric, make a copy, or add more fabric. I can simply click on copy to make a copy, or I can click on add here to add more fabric. And let's say I have too many fabric, I don't need them anymore. Simply click on that delete icon there to delete them. Okay? And if I click on that fabric once again, come down here to the property editor, I will see many property appear under that fabric. And down here we have three button and this reset icon. If I want to click only this 2D window, then only 2D window appear. I will do the same with 3D window. 
or I can click on the 3D and 2D icon there to show both. And reset, it means that I can reset the workspace to default workspace as I open it. Then up here we have menus. So this menu here allows us to access new projects, new garment, open, add, save as project, save project, import, export, and the one that we use a lot here. We use snapshot, we use readable capture, and so on. And over here we have 3D garment, 2D pattern, how to do many of these tool, many of these menu here. We can access this tool or material with our toolbar or right click function. And over here we have setting. So this is important. When we need to change a toolbar or unit measurement, we will use the setting menu. Click on that and then go to user setting. We can select view control, then we get to change a preset for the function that we want to use. Let's say pan, zoom, and so on. And if we want to change the unit, we can go to user interface and then change the unit from centimeter to inches and so on. For example, I want to leave it as centimeter and then click on close here to close this window. Last but not least, this menu over here to the right, we have simulation. If I click on that tooling arrow right there, I will see more animation, print layout, emulator, modular, and so on. However, the most important menu we will use here, simulation, animation, print layout, okay? Then I'm going to click on that tooling arrow once again to close that menu.